Oh, shit. That is a mean sounding gun. What's that you got there? It's called an MK-14. MK-14, you say? Now, hang on a minute, because that sounds a little familiar. Does it by any chance bear any resemblance to the M14? Why, yes, it does. Oh, cool. So, how does it resemble it? I'll tell you how. <laughs> it kicks ass. That's what it does. <laughs> Every game's got them. Every game needs them. Everyone needs a semi-auto shooter at some time or another. Because they feel good to shoot. And if you don't get a kick out of having to whack the trigger for every bullet you want to shoot, I don't think you're human. Do you ever get that feeling with the G3 and COD 4, or the Gewehr and World at War, where you see a few guys in the distance and you say, Hey, you three. Haha, <laughs> hold still for a second. Let me just line you up nice and tidy. And then you lay down the sound of thunderclaps on them. And then you turn the corner, and then once again... Oi! You three! By this point you feel unstoppable. There ain't nothing in this world that can touch you. You fear nobody. Oh my god, there's a juggernaut runaway! Jesus Christ! Is he gone? Well, most of the time you feel unstoppable, but then you whack on impact and you give it some of the ooh la la. Have some of that, lads. <laughs> Split my quad feet, will you? I'll get you back later. But everything I've done so far has been long range shooting. Secondaries aside, you might like something to help you out at closer ranges. Maybe the shotgun. But I should warn you. Did you just see that visual recoil? Here's a conveniently placed MK14 for me to compare with. Nice red dot, stable, lacking kick. You switch out. Jesus Christ, I can barely see what I'm fucking shooting at. For some reason, when you attach a Master Key shotgun to the MK14, you gain an ungodly amount of recoil. Visual recoil. The kind that you get with LMGs, where it's not actually kicking off target, but the frame is bouncing up like a bastard. Good luck trying to stay on target when you can't see what the fuck you're shooting at. So I wondered if the MK14 shared this trait with the other underslung attachment, the grenade launcher, and it didn't. So then I thought, maybe I haven't noticed before, but all the assault rifles have that trait when you attach a shotgun. And they didn't. The MK14 with the underslung shotgun is a one of a kind, has a very unusual trait, and it's time to make up for that quad feed. So come here, you bastards. That's three. <laughs> Where's the fourth? Give me the fourth, give me the fourth! You fucking took too long, man. The quad feed's long gone. That's a shame. Master key moments do not come around often, but you can see it's definitely a viable option. But you might prefer a pair of scorps to get you out the close range situations if you combine it with Slight Hand Pro. But you might like to enhance your long range game a little more. Because if there's one thing the M14 is good at, it's not needing proficiency to make it work. The MK14 is solid by default. The gun has no recoil, so you don't need kick. The ACOG and thermoscope sit still, and you don't need stability. You might like focus. Well here I have impact. The MK14 is so versatile that when you're creating the class, you could be sitting there for a long time, just scrolling through each attachment and each proficiency thinking, do I really need this? And if you get that kind of indecision when you're making the class, you know you've got a good gun in your hands, because it can handle just about any kind of setup well, and a lot of the attachments are fun to mess about with, whether it's Master Key Shock and ACOG Scope, or Thermal Scope. And yes, even with Thermal on, this gun is stable, do I really need impact? Hell no. Do I really need kick? Hell no. In truth, I don't think you really need anything. So if you don't need to make the gun better, why not make your character better? Give him focus, make him more resilient, and reduce the view kick when you get shot. And just for one more test, you really need stability. I'm not holding my breath. I'm just spamming the trigger. Honestly. Give him focus, or otherwise... Go with two attachments. Yeah, I'm saying you don't need to make the gun better, but you might not like the irons, and you might not want one of those advanced sights. Why not just go with a simple red dot sight, and perhaps a suppressor? Because I was told by my friend Swordsman that, even with the suppressor attached, the MK14 remains a two-shot kill, and staying off the radar with no downsides sounds very, very appealing. Perhaps two attachments is the best choice. You'll always get the focus back to a specialist bonus. And I think this is a pretty solid testament to the MK14's damage, even with the suppressor attached. One bullet to the skull is enough to see them drop. 
Have on a suppressor attached can see you get some high streaks. Streaks as high as 25. But of course, after every Moab kill, you die instantly afterwards. But that's fine, because I'm going to pay you back with the multi-kill. In three, two, one. You fucking piece of shit. Ah, fuck. What are the odds, man? Well, clearly not impossible, as I discovered during this game. Well, I've finally been the victim of the MOAB cockblock, but... Hope you enjoyed this MK14 tear-up, thanks for watching, and goodbye.